ready to cut some logs, make some furniture, <laughs> you're at the right place, man. Welcome back. Welcome back to logfurniturehowto.com. My name's Mitchell Dillman. We're going to get the day started right out there on the mill. So we've got some two orders, two separate orders for two different tables. We're getting set up right now to start that. We'll be cutting out of these logs that we got out of the Black Forest from the Black Forest fire. It was three years ago, a couple weeks. These didn't get burned that bad, but you'll see little burnt spots here and there. We've already peeled them. So let's get over there on the mill, get to setting this three inch slabs, three inch slabs right out of the center. We'll use this for benches. All right, let's get it cut. So even though these logs have been down for about three years, we still have a kiln over here. We kiln dry them. So we're, set, so we're setting up a stack right now to, uh, to get them over here in the kiln. We separate them with these spacers so the airflow. Once we get one layer, we put our spacers and then we go roll another log. So we're just rolling these by hand right now. We're right on over there. We just set up the runner those four by fours and roll it on over there and we'll just get on over here fire up our and do it all over again <laughs> and we'll keep them coming Once we get it where we want it, this is what's called the log knob. This is what we hold it in place with right here. Lock. You'll see it locking it up down there. That's what holds it in place. Now we'll just raise the head to clear, and then we'll bring the carriage back, and we'll do it all over again.
another one. We're cutting these in half. So we'll pull our measurements. Cutting logs. Gotta get this flat. guys so we've done what we had to do here today like always I appreciate you taking time to watch I want you to do me a big favor and go tell three of your friends about what I'm doing here man come see me tomorrow we'll be doing it all over again thanks for watching we'll see you tomorrow